A bill to ban elective abortions is one step closer to becoming law in Utah. Tonight, Fox 13, Spencer Joseph is on the Capitol Hill to show us how this bill would work. Spencer. Good evening. Yeah, it was definitely a spirited debate. There was a lot of arguments on both sides. Obviously, this is a passionate issue, but ultimately the Senate decided to move this bill forward. And I make the motion that we move yep. SB 174. In a last minute floor vote, the Utah Senate Brother. moved on SB 174, Harper. Utah's bill on Henderson. banning abortion. Henderson. Hilliard. The bill passing its second reading along party lines 21 to 6. This is a hotly debated topic and you can tell by the debate on the floor that you know this conversation is not going to end here. It's one that's going to continue for a long time. Senator Dan McKay is the chief sponsor of the bill. I'm hopeful that we get to a point where you know uh, where, where we don't feel like women need to have an abortion. As for the bill itself, it would only go into effect if Roe v. Wade was overturned. It also outlines clear exceptions for the life of the mother and baby, rape and incest. Yeah, I've heard some pretty vile things coming from the floor, actually. Katie Matheson with Alliance for a Better Utah disagrees with what happened today. We continue to have to have these debates when the time could be spent um, really helping Utahns. Yeah, I actually had tears in my eyes watching the debate. Uh, it was such an eloquent defense of life. Mary Taylor, the president of Pro-Life Utah, had a different view. Our goal is to see hearts and minds changed and for abortion to become not just illegal, but unthinkable. The bill has one more vote in the Senate before it heads to the House. But ultimately, the hope is this will be a message heard around the country. There is a way that we can, as a state, send a, send a uh, clear message to the country of where Utah would be when Roe v. Wade is, is repealed. Um, then I think this is the best way to do it. Governor Herbert has already expressed some objections to this yesterday. No word on whether or not that will play into things if this bill does make it to his desk. On the Hill, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.